Attention guacamole lovers, your supply of avocados may be in jeopardy. Every year, Mexico exports more than 2 billion pounds of avocados to the United States. But this trade has now been halted after a U.S. safety inspector got threats possibly tied to organized crime in Mexico. CBS 8's Richard Allen has more on the impact this ban could have on us, as well as the action being taken by California's avocado growers. Well, that's right. Thankfully, this ban on avocados from Mexico did not affect Super Bowl Sunday. Those avocados had been shipped weeks earlier. What are you doing? Adding avocados from Mexico. By the time this commercial by Mexico's avocado growers ran during the Super Bowl, all imports of the popular fruit had been suspended by the U.S. government until further notice. This action came after a U.S. plant safety inspector in Mexico had been threatened. Officials say drug cartels have infiltrated the avocado trade in Michoacan, the only Mexican state that's fully authorized to export avocados to the U.S. The U.S. now imports about half of its avocados, nearly 90% of which come from Michoacan, a trade that's valued at more than $2.4 billion, according to the USDA. It's a big product here in San Diego County, so... Uh, San Diego County uh, growers then are, are going to be affected by this. USD economics professor Alan Jin says news of a ban on avocado imports from Mexico could create consumer anxiety. There is a possibility that this will uh, cause people to act irrationally and uh, uh, go out there and try to hoard uh, some of these avocados uh, uh, with the idea then that uh, there might be a shortage of them. The California Avocado Commission, which has written this letter to the USDA, is working to tamp down any possible consumer anxiety, telling its growers, while there may be some who see this as a boon for California avocado producers, based on our historical experience, supply disruptions ultimately tend to have a negative impact on the entire category. Jin says this ban could create instability as far as the market's concerned. That consumers might uh, translate uh, this concern over the mixing avocados to the to the uh, U.S. Uh, and specifically California and San Diego grown avocados. And so that might taint the entire market. In the meantime, Mexico's president has come forward saying he believes this suspension on avocado imports are part of a conspiracy against his country by political or economic interests, although he did not specify which interests those are. And the California Avocado Commission has also reached out to its counterparts in Mexico to try to get more information. At this point, though, there's no indication how long this ban might last.